How's it going everybody? Solomon with Eastern Florida Pythons. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning and today's video is going to be very exciting. Uh, I am currently waiting. I've got probably about an hour, two hours left uh, before the special thing gets here. Um, but I'm getting a new animal today. Some of you have probably seen what this animal is going to be because I started talking about it last month during Hurricane Dorian. But uh, it's finally happening. It's finally time. It's coming today. So stay tuned. We're going to take a look at this amazing animal that will be in my new collection. Okay? So stick around. Hey everybody, so uh, she's here, or it's here, okay? I am so excited. Got this nice little box. Now this animal came from Hardwired Exotics, and I'll put a link in the description below um, so you guys can check out some of the animals that, the, that he's got. Um, his name's Tony, awesome dude. Um, <laughs> some amazing animals, let me tell you. All right, so we're going to open this and see what she looks like. I am so stinking excited. I had the hardest time falling asleep last night because I was sitting here thinking about it. Uh, then we're also going to go over um, what her name is. Because trust me, that's been picked out for over a month. Uh, and I'll give you the story behind her as well. All right, so uh, first and foremost, hardwired exotics. Let me see if I can get this to zoom. The focus here. There you go. Give me a nice, cool card with his contact info. You can see it. There you go. Uh, great, great person to work with. And I'll, I'll give you more of an, a story as well of uh, how that all went. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. Packaged very well, and here she is. So, zip tied, not a big deal. Let me get those, get that popped off here. Come on, there we go. Zip, zip tied taken care of. I'm gonna put the box down. Oh, I cannot wait. I think she's a little bigger than I thought she was going to be, too, so that's always a good thing. Um, we're going to scale her, too, just to find out how much she weighs. But All right. Woo, I'm so excited. This is going to be so cool. Okay. Whoa. Holy crap on a cracker. Check this little feisty butt out. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what you're seeing here, this is a chocolate black pastel lesser female. Holy crap. Let me see if I can get it to zoom a little bit better. Come on, catch it on her. There you go. Look at the pattern on this girl. Almost looks like a champagne inchy. A little bit but this is a chocolate oh chocolate is a gene that I have always wanted to get into and look at her she looks like a legitimate chocolate bar but uh, I'm finally getting it um, and I, I couldn't ask for a more beautiful beautiful animal this little girl is gonna be a big deal for me um, and her first pairing, when she gets to size, is going to be with my pastel spot nose clown. So imagine the hits that I'll get from that one. <laughs> um, so I'm super excited. Uh, chocolate clowns are pretty cool. If you haven't seen them, check them out. Uh, Justin Kobelka has made a cinnamon chocolate clown, and I know exactly who it is that has that that animal. Um, it's just gorgeous. But anyway, this is. Dory. Now, to give you a reason why, uh, or give you the story behind why her name is Dory, um, last month we had uh, 
pretty good size scare when it comes to a hurricane um, which was Hurricane Dorian uh, it was forecasted to go through the Bahamas and then once it went through the Bahamas um, we were it was gonna be a direct hit on my county where I'm at here in Florida um, thankfully at the last second it did move off but um, it was a big scare and during that time uh, I was looking <laughs> I was already looking for a new animal I wanted to get something um, and then I ended up finding this one and I used it as kind of a distraction a little bit so I could I could survive because <laughs> it was pretty scary there for a while but um, anyway when I saw this girl I was just so excited to get her and my intention was to fully pay her pay for her right off the bat the only issue was that big scare with uh, Dorian I ended up having to spend a lot of extra money on supplies and and just getting prepped for for this hurricane so I ended up losing out on some of my my cash that I had set aside for the snake so I ended up talking to the, the breeder t Tony um, who offered this beautiful little girl and uh, he agreed that I would pay half up front and then I could pay half after the storm or within 30 days if I just ended up not having enough left over and that was the case I didn't have enough left over so he was a uh, now that's not something that he does all the time okay um, he's not gonna it's usually every week or every other week or something like that I don't know you'd have to read his little thing but um, because it was kind of a weird situation he was able to work with me which really goes to show what kind of a amazing breeder this guy is okay uh, I really was impressed, but I named her Dorian, Dory, after Hurricane Dorian because she kind of came to be during that storm. And uh, I am just, I am over the moon stoked with this baby. I am ex so excited. So let's take a look and see what she weighs real quick here. All right, sweet girl, come here. There you go. Dory weighs 254 grams I'm so stoked I mean I, I wish you could really capture how incredibly beautiful this snake is she is drop dead dang gorgeous her head is kind of a reddish color too which is really cool ah uh, it's great I love adding oh you're okay sister I love adding new jeans into my collection now I am I'm one of those people that's going to be kind of focusing on certain things and I don't want to get too many crazy jeans into my collection that I just don't really care to work with. Um, for example, I don't want to work with champagne. Um, I, I just It just kills the pattern for me. It just blows every pattern out of the water and you just can't see much um, unless you add like inchy to it. Um, not to mention, you know, I just I just don't like champagne. Um, I'm not a huge fan of pinstripe, not for any particular reason other than it kind of does the same thing. It kind of destroys the pattern a little bit. And now, no, I'm not saying there's nothing, there's anything wrong with these, but I just I have personal preferences, and everybody's allowed to have those. Um, I also don't want to work with spider. It's the same thing, uh, despite the. The neurological stuff I personally just don't like spider it's just it washes the pattern out too much it kind of just explodes it and that's not my thing um, I like the darker morphs I have always liked dark stuff um, so it was just another reason why I wasn't really planning on ever having a banana but uh, Morpheus over there ended up just kind of falling into my lap and He's kind of grown on me a lot. He's, I'm super attached to him, so we're gonna. I'm gonna hold on to him. But yeah, I just I like the darker morphs. So I'm gonna be kind of sticking with those those kind of darker stuff. Um, I would love to get cypress. I'd love to get hurricane. Um, definitely would love to get confusion, acid. 
I, all those really cool, crazy morphs that are coming out, but I'm not in a place to get those yet. I'm not saying that I won't, but, uh, you know, you guys have joined me from the very beginning when I first started building my very first snake rack. So you know how this, this business is going. But to get chocolate into my collection is an, a huge accomplishment for me. I am super excited, and it's got lesser, and it has black pastel. Now, I have a black pastel female, but uh, this girl right here is a powerhouse. This is my only three-gene female that I have. Uh, she has the most genes of all the females that I've got right now, which is amazing. Um, but anyway, I, I'm so, so over the moon stoked that you guys have been uh, sticking with me. This little girl is going to be a huge, huge, huge uh, addition to this collection. And as you've seen with Mr. Pennywise, my little... Spot, pastel spot nose clown if you've been following my social media or watching my videos you know how much I love that snake um, you guys have got to watch him as he's been growing up because I post him all the time and guess what I will probably post this girl all the time and you'll get to watch her grow all the way up until eventually she breeds but no matter what happens this girl will always stay in my collection because she's that special to me you know, I had, she did, I just, I, I don't know, she's just that special because of everything that we went through to get this girl, so, super stoked, uh, Tony, over there, hard, hardwired exotics, thank you, um, amazing animal, she is absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to see what she looks like when she gets older, um, and if you guys are just joining me, never seen any of my videos, I do right I do ask that you would subscribe, definitely. Um, the more support, the better, uh, especially with YouTube. I love doing these videos. I'm not really doing it for any kind of profit or anything. I do it just because I enjoy it, and I love showing off my animals and talking about them. So please subscribe. Uh, definitely smash the like button on this video if you would. You can share these videos. Any of my videos are shareable. I don't mind. Um, I, as a matter of fact, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, Anyway, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this girl. Um, I'm going to get some, some nice, real pretty pictures for her of her um, for social media and stuff. And uh, then I'm going to let her kind of chill out in her quarantine tub for a couple of weeks. Um, just let her get settled in. Uh, but she is on her aunt, so she should be just fine to, to go ahead and start eating. So I hope you all have enjoyed it, and I will see you guys on the next video.